Dang, Frankie, you just got here. You just got here. You already gave me two bucks. Hey, appreciate it, man. Just doing some um, some prints tonight. Some of these. What's up, everybody? No, you can't see me. You can see this, though, right? we we'll be doing these. I did these yesterday. But, sketch two designs, what's up? So I did these yesterday, but since I only have one palette, I can only do, like, one side. And then today, I'm doing the chest. So this right here is the invoice, just so I can keep track of them. And we're watching the Cowboys get beat back there. I was trying to do this with a, um, I was trying to get, go Bears. I saw you, Frankie. I appreciate the $2 super chat, man. Appreciate that. So hopefully everything goes good, you know what I mean? I've never screen printed live. I've always just um, recorded videos and was able to edit it. So I was able to edit out the mistakes, you know what I mean? But like this right here. This is a, so I'm using Bella Canvas hoodie, Bella Bella canvas hoodies. Yeah, it's not over yet. So I printed this one, it came out good, but. No, this one, this one didn't come out good. One of these I forgot to do the registration mark. This one, I don't know what happened there. That went way off. That went way off. How much for two color print hoodies? Uh, it depends on what kind of hoodies you want. Uh, the hoodies that I'm using are, that I have here are Bella Canvas for these. But it all depends, you can get, if you want something cheap, you can go with like um, the Gildens. You can go with the Gildan hoodies, go with the next level hoodies. With, oh, and I ordered this right here. Check this out. I saw Rye Beats using these, so I ordered these right here for my little stuff. So here's how it looks when it's done. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. We appreciate. Hey, I appreciate. I appreciate your support. Zip up hoodie. I'm. I'm getting two red zip up hoodies that I ordered. Those are um, the reds. The red ones that I ordered is for this order too, but they haven't come in yet. I don't know why. But those are. Um, I think those hoodies are jerseys. Those are gonna be jersey hoodies. Hey, I pre Someone said that they appreciate. All the information, and I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I was gonna go live on Instagram, but I was like, nah. So I have the game on, but I have it on mute because you know how YouTube is. If you're, if you're making a video and um, you got something that's copyrighted, they might not. It might not let you upload it. So, hey, Rye Beats, what's up? I ordered some of these. Let me show you. I don't know if you just saw them. 
But I ordered them because you had them. Yeah, I saw you using them on some shirts. Order two of these. And I ordered I ordered an easy grip squeegee. But the one that they sent me is defective. I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. This thing's lifting up on me. So I'm actually shooting a video for this. I'm actually shooting a video for all of this stuff. See, it's right here. But I'm gonna go live for a little bit and then I'll shoot this later. But this is the one that I ordered right here. I ordered this easy grip, but check this out. Without any ink on it, look. That's not supposed to happen. Definitely not supposed to come out that easy. Appreciate it, Donald. That's all I ordered. I only ordered the, the metal ones. I just ordered six more. I mean, I didn't just order six more. Um, I don't know if you can see down there. Got some in there. And then I have, see the ones back there. I don't got many. I think I got like 10, not that many. I'm trying to build up because um trying to build up because I need I need more. So I got I'm doing this job right here and then I got um, another job inside. You guys saw all those sweaters. I, I I got all those sweaters. I'm gonna be doing those too. And then I got another order after that. Yeah, right. Um I got in touch with uh because I ordered it from um Total Ink Solutions and they were cool. They just said, hey, um, we're gonna send you a new one, so they're going to send me a new one, a new squeegee, and the new grip, so that's cool. So that's cool of them. I, was wor I wasn't going to say nothing, because I'm usually like, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? But... So if y'all just got here... You saw the Instagram post. This is what I did yesterday. That's me right there. That name, not the shoe. <coughs> I'm going to put some... These things are like... I have the... You see it? I have the PMI tape on here. But for some reason, it's not getting sticky right there. That's because I just started. I saw those uh, those hoodie, those shirts you did for Frankie. Those came out nice. So I am shooting a video for this. So if you guys see me moving this camera around, I'm gonna be moving this one around, catching different angles, so that whenever I do put my video together, it'll all sync up. Yeah, but this thing right here, I was excited about it, but it doesn't even stay in there, man. Look at that. First easy grip, squeegee, and it was a failure. But if they send me another one, I keep this one, I'll put some screws in here to hold it in, I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to throw it away, I'll tell you that. It's like 30 bucks.
Damn, it's 17 to 7. What's going on? Cowboys getting smoked. Hey, so if any of you guys do do screen painting, do screen print. I'm going to show you guys something that you can get for free. I'm going to leave it on the phone. So if you go to PMI, P, PMI starter kit, you can you can get this for free. This is thirty bucks. So if you order these individually, they're ten dollars each. But if you go to um, PMI, you can order um, samples, and this is what they send you. It's pretty cool. So I, I like using it. And then when I was at the um, the Printing United show, I actually bought two more of these because they had them there. Yeah, sample kit. Go to the sample kit on their website, and you can order this for free. It's pretty legit. So I haven't used this one yet. This is the one I'm using a lot of right here because it has that, the way it is, the blue lines up right here so it doesn't stick like it does on the bottom. I was trying to do this with a white underbase when I did the, the back of the shirts. But that didn't happen. Like this, this screen print, this screen setup right here is good for one or two colors, but like multiple colors, nah. I almost messed it up. So let me show you one of them. Look how off that was. So everything on here has a white underbase, but whenever I did this. See how off it was? So this has white under it, came out good. But this right here. Why are you scared to open it? Just open it, man. You gotta use it eventually. I have opened two of them because I opened one and then I, I don't know what I did with the box. I think I took it inside and then I opened up the other one. I gotta remember where I'm getting these from. So here it is right here. I still gotta, since I don't have a flash drive, I mean, I don't have a, uh, like a conveyor belt, I gotta still take these inside and hit them with a, what is this, medium? I have to hit them with the, um, the heat press. So I'm trying to get all these done tonight so that tomorrow I can do that. I gotta remember where I'm getting these shirts from. So I don't get them all mixed up. Touchdown bears. Oh my god. The Cowboys came out like a beast with a touchdown, and then what happened? Man, all I know is he better. Dak better throw some touchdowns because I got him in as my quarterback for um, fantasy football, so don't let me down. It's playoffs right now. I just saw the touchdown. Late. Trying to read y'all's comments. Hey, bro, been watching you for a while. I just got the wife to 5 and one for Christmas to get her started with the influence, man. Keep it up. 
Hey, John, I appreciate that, man. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys ever need any help, um, I now have a I now have a business phone number, not my personal phone, but um, it's a cell phone. But you can call me through there if you guys ever have any questions, or just send me a text message. It'll be a whole lot faster than um, an email or something. Joe's a Raiders fan. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like Raymond when he took that. I'm gonna be like Ramon when he took that picture. He was like. He had it. He took a picture. Where, where was he at? Let me see. He was with the guys from He Transfer Warehouse. He was with the guys from He Transfer Warehouse. Is that where you were at? And he was like showing his Raider tattoo. Like he was cool. He was like. Shelly, you got a question? Let me see. Doing a good job and getting better. I appreciate that. Shelly, I, I missed your question if you had a question. Um, but if you can ask again. Um, Tyrus Bradley, Cowboys trash. Hey, they're trash, but guess what? We're number one in our division. This stuff right here is thick. I don't know if you can see this, but this it's like white. Perfect. That's good. I'm not gonna put more than one coat. One coat is good. Hey, y'all hit that thumbs up for me once a time. Por favor. You guys got any questions, I'll try to answer you. If not, Rye Beats is in here. Sorry, Brat. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? It's promotable. That's what's up. You made the list, huh? That's what's up, man. Congratulations. I get looked at this year. I get well, now they changed the promotion. They changed the promotion, um, the way people are getting promoted, so. I'm in that new whatever they're doing now. So we'll see what happens, but congratulations to you, man. Go Navy. Oh, here we go with the Cowboys. Hey, I'm st look. I'm still watching them. I just don't have the volume up because, you know, YouTube will be like, it has copyrighted. So I have the volume all the way down. So what's up, Jonathan? Tell me tell me why uh, I got this PMI tape on here. See that? I got this PMI tape on here, and it's not sticking. What's up with that? They gave me, a, they gave me samples, so they gave me trash or what? They gave me samples, so they're like, just give them the trash. Give them the trash. You'll be all right. I usually don't go live on, what's today, Thursday? But I was out here. And I was like, let me see what, let me see what the crew's doing. Let's see what the, the printers are doing. Or anybody that is trying to get into it. Thirty-two of you. Yeah. What's up? Hit that thumbs up for me one time. I got one shirt. I don't know where it goes. Oh no, I'm good now. Oh. I moved the hanger and I moved this hanger and now I gotta find this shirt. This is for a Medium. Confusing myself over here. My first says, get in my, my new cameo for tomorrow to start my vinyl cutting the more. That's what's up, man. You gotta start somewhere. Hey, the cameo four is legit. Cameo three is legit. Don't don't get it twisted just because it's a little 12-inch cutter. 
that thing right there could do can do some stuff that my first cutter that I bought was a the R series two cutter. The R series two from Sign Warehouse and the cameo is better than that. The cameo four is way better than that R series two. The only thing that I that I'm glad about buying that cutter, that R series two cutter, is that um you bring it all up a little bit. The only thing that I like about that that R series two cutter is it came with LXI Expert. And LXI Expert is like, I love that program. Um, I wouldn't, so the program for, for the, the cutter and the program, I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I just bought the cutter because I didn't know. Yeah, the R series hated flock. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I, I, I guarantee you like, it could barely cut some um, vinyl, more or less the, um, more or less flock, you know what I mean? So, but the thing that I do, that I did like about it is it came with the, the program. The program that it came with is, if you, if you go try to buy it from the website, it's like 500 bucks. So, um, paying 200 and something for the, I, I paid 200 and something for the, um, the cutter and it came with that program. I mean, I didn't know, I didn't know at the time what I was doing. I just bought it, and luckily, luckily, it was legit. So I, I love that program. And then Juan from uh, Liberty Graphics is supposed to be hooking me up with the rhinestone, um, the rhinestone key for that, so that I can use that. But that, it'll come eventually. Who's not going? What? I'm not going. He's not going right. He's afraid on me or of me. That's that Navy talk. That's what it is, the Navy talk. He's afraid on me. Nah, but for real, um, yeah, I'm not going to be going to the, the show out there um, because we're going home for Texas. We're going home. We're going home for Christmas to Texas, so I'm not going to be... Um, going out there to, um, what is it, Long Beach? So I won't be going to Long Beach. Shelly says, Frankie, the quality of your work and merchandise will speak for itself. That's true. As long as you're putting out stuff that is good, people will, people will pick it up. Eventually, it's not going to come overnight. Um, uh, December, this, this, um, so January will be two years that I've been doing this. So it's not going to come overnight, Frankie. Uh, take your time, man. It's going to come eventually. Um, you just got to stick with it. Don't get frustrated. This is a hoodie, right? It's just a little thicker. When times get tough, you just keep pressing, right? That's what you do, right? When times get tough, you just keep pressing. Yeah, I got to finish this order. This order will be done tonight, and then I got to start on the next one. I got to print the films out, and then um, get started on that one, because it, I got to turn them in by Wednesday. It doesn't always go right. Look, stuff happens. So this right here, whenever I did this, um, these letters didn't burn like I was hoping. I don't know why, but all I did was for the next one when I did the when I did the next one. All I did was just up the time a little bit. So once I up the time, I was good to go. But yeah, everything's not always gonna go smooth, man. Just because we make videos and and we put out 
you see the video and it's like, man, they make it look so easy. That's why I like to put a lot of, um, when I, whenever I do make mistakes, I like to put it in the video so that people will be like, oh, he just edited, he edited the whole video. He did it flawlessly. And then everybody thinks like, oh, it's super easy when it's not, you know what I mean? Because stuff's going to happen. Unexpected stuff is going to happen. Let me show you another one. If I can find it. I'm working out in my garage, so you know how that is. Let me see if I can pull this one up. No. I was ready to print. I was ready to burn a screen. I was ready to burn a screen and then look at that. That's gonna happen. And you gotta buy it. I could take this off and order a new one. I could probably still use this side. It's still tight. This side is a little loose down here, but this up here is still tight. So I could probably just clean this off and still use it, but we'll see what's up. Maybe one day, I don't know. But for now. I ordered some new screens. So we'll see what's up. That chrome looking good, huh? With the light. It's not a, it's not a um, reflective, but it's, it's bright like a reflective. I would show you the can. It's over there on the table. It's over here on the table, but I don't want to go and touch it and then get, look, get that on a shirt or get chrome on the shirt where it doesn't need to be. I don't want to do that, so. We're gonna avoid touching anything else. So if you look over here, this is what I'm doing. If you guys see me. So I come over here and I print this first one over here. And then whenever I'm doing this, I grab the next hoodie or shirt, whatever I'm doing. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this flash dryer and just roll it over here. I got that box set up to where I can put it on top. Then I just put my next hoodie on so I can keep on going. Um, like I said, I don't have a conveyor belt. Not yet. Eventually one day. But for now, the process that I use, I just go back and forth. Jason Garrett, who says Jason Garrett's gonna get fired this year? He was all smiles in the beginning of the game. Not no more, right? And then, so now I got it over here on this shirt or the sweater, whatever I'm doing. And I swing it around. And this one over here. Keep stuff out of the way. It's the joy of working in the garage, right? It wouldn't be so bad, but I got a trailer in here, so with the trailer being in here, like I can't leave the trailer outside because then HOA fees are like, you can't park that out there. Do it again, I'm gonna write you a ticket. So gotta love the HOA fees, right? Then once I get done, like I said, I'm going to take all these inside. I will then press them with the heat press. Once I press them with the heat press, I'll know that the, the temperature inside will be cured really good. 
I mean, I know that the plus salt ink will be cured. I don't want to take a chance of someone wearing it and then it rubs off on them. Or a seat belt or sit down in your seat of a car and then you get up and the back of your seat has the image on it. That would suck. So whenever I did these screens, if you could see this, being that this was a, let me bring you up a little bit. Whenever I did these screens right here. So if you see right here, I got all this tape down here. The reason I did that is because instead of using the motion to do this whole thing right here, like this one, see how this one's a hole? This one is the whole, like the whole back of the shirt, or the back of the sweater. So instead of doing a whole image like that, instead of having to put all the, the emulsion just for a chest piece, I usually just do it halfway so that I can save this emulsion right here. So. <laughs> That's just some stuff that I've learned along the way from some screen printers on YouTube. Right Beats, are you still here? Right Beats, you're still here. Appreciate all the info, man. So if you guys just got here, we're using some Bella Canvas hoodies. Bella Canvas hoodies. They weren't priced too bad, so I was I bought a whole bunch of them. I bought some black ones, I bought some gray ones. And then my daughter's wanted hoodies, so I just bought my daughter wanted a maroon hoodie. My other daughter wanted a like a pink hoodie. Ooh, look at that. So here's this, but look at this. So I gotta get that. I need to find out where that's coming from. So if you don't watch stuff like that, it'll build up. You know what I mean? So all I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take one of these nice next level t-shirts that I messed up and I'm gonna spray some of this right here, some ink remover onto it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab it to take it off before it cures on there. You guys got any questions I'll try to answer I'm trying to answer questions as we go if you got them um, this was an order for like 30 I think and then I have the order for another 30 that I got to do after this but they're gonna be on gray next level t-shirts and gray Bella canvas hoodies I would show you another picture, but it's on my phone and we're using my phone tonight to go live, so. Yeah, but anybody could do this right here because this screen press setup was probably like 500 bucks. And I think it was so much, it wasn't, I mean, it's not a lot. I think it was like 500 bucks because of all the stuff that it came with. So it came with this right here, it came with this setup. It came with four screens. It came with the inks, and then if you look, let me see if I can show you. I'll just show you. So it came with these. It came with four of these, four squeegees, the wooden ones. It came with four of those, and it came with, that was it. Yeah, that was all it came with. But yeah. All this other stuff, oh, and it came with it came with some cleaners. It came with different stuff like this, but just little samples. And then after I ran out of those, um, I had to go out and I had to buy all the the bigger stuff, the gallons of stuff. I'm gonna find that hole that we have over here.
Is that a fumble? Was it overturned? I'm late. Might be doing classes soon. This guy called me in Augusta. Any of you guys are from Augusta or they call it the CSRA. Um, this guy called me from Augusta and said he has a building out there. He has a couple rooms that he's not using. So he said for me to go by there and if I want to use one, then I'm more than welcome to to like hold classes or whatever. So see what's up. Maybe see what happens, you know what I mean? If, we, if I can get that, that'll be pretty cool. He's And I was like, whatever... I don't know if we're gonna like, just like, hey, come check it out. I don't know what we're gonna do. But I was like, well, we could just, if we do charge, we could like split. And he was like, nah, man. He's like, all I want is for for you to, for me to teach him. So I was like, I mean, I'm all about teaching, you know what I mean? Or helping people, not, not really teaching, but like, I guess we could say, like helping people, helping people learn without saying teaching. Cause I'm not a, I'm not a professional at this, but I do know somewhat of what I'm doing. I'm still learning, especially this, especially this screen printing stuff. I'm still learning. <coughs> So the way I do it, whenever I do my hoodies, um, if you guys saw the way I was doing the for the t-shirts with the invoices, I just put them on here, I tape them like that so that I know what goes with what. But for the hoodies, what I do is I just put it inside the pocket right here so that it's in there. I'll make sure I don't lose it. And then whenever I get ready to send these off to the people that ordered them um, and they get them, they can't tell me, well, I didn't order that because the invoice, they tell me they didn't order whatever I sent them. I could be like, well, the invoice that you paid for is in there with that exact same size that you said okay to. So basically, whenever you pay the invoice, you're saying everything on there is good. So if it's a, this says, this says large, say they wanted a medium, but I put a large on there. And they okayed it, well then it's their fault. You know what I mean? Because that's that's another way of confirming their order. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do it on purpose, but I'm just saying. Because it's happened before. <coughs> to where someone tried blaming me for sending something wrong when it wasn't me. But we got it figured out, so it was all good, but still. I always try to put on the invoices. Um, once you pay this invoice, you are confirming that everything on here is correct so that whenever it comes back to me and it's like, hey, this is wrong. And I'll be like, let me see the invoice. Or I just pull it up on QuickBooks because I use QuickBooks. So I'm like, I just pull up the invoice on QuickBooks and I'm like, oh, this is what I sent you. This is what, this is the invoice I sent you. Uh, this is what you paid for and everything on there. It says like, once you pay this, um, there's no refund. And if you want a refund before it's done, then you only get half of your money back because the simple fact is the work's already being done. Do you know what I mean? If you're doing work on something and someone tries to say they don't want it after they've already ordered it, because some people do that, you know what I mean? Some people will see something and be in the moment and be like, I want one and then pay for it. And then later on be like, if it's not done, can I get my money back? And that's where you have to be careful, um, especially when it comes to invoices and what you write on them so that <coughs> people, people can't say, hey, give my money back because we never agreed that um, there was no refund or anything. So make sure you write something on there. Yeah. That needs to throw a pass so that I can get seven points or six points for fantasy football.
So what I did right there is I had, I don't know if you guys saw that. No, you didn't see it. So whenever I, whenever I did that and I picked this up, I had like a big chunk of paint right here or plastic ink. So all I did was, um, without putting any ink on it, I just went back and pushed a little bit harder so that whenever I came up, it'd be gone. So that's all, that's all I was doing. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that's what I was doing. I always check it to make sure that it's good. But especially if you're doing tumblers, oh man, if you're doing a tumbler and someone's like, "Yeah, hey, I need my money back because tumblers take a while to do." You guys saw the videos that I did of the tumblers. They didn't ask for the money back, but I'm just saying, like. It's like a three or four day process. You know what I mean? This right here alone has taken me like three or four days because the reason it's taken me three or four days is because I don't do this for a living. You know what I mean? Um, I got a, I have a full-time job and then I do this. As soon as I get home, I'm out here doing this or I'm out. If I'm not in here, if I'm not out here, then I'm inside doing something. So, I appreciate all the, the orders that we got for Christmas, not Christmas, but the, I would say like the last couple of weeks of the vinyl. So I appreciate you guys that have ordered some. We didn't do a Black Friday thing. I wanted to. My wife kept telling me, hey, do Black Friday, do Black Friday. But I was so busy with the designs for this and the other one that I didn't get to. So maybe we could do something. I don't know. Touchdown. It's probably late. Y'all probably already saw it. But I just saw it. They said this was supposed to be an easy game for the Cowboys, but it's 13 to 24. So if you guys see me when I just did that, I popped it off like that. And the reason that I pop it off like that is because, um, if you don't know, is because whenever it's sitting on the pallet, um, it's stuck to it, right? So the heat's not getting underneath it. And then whenever I, um, <clears throat> whenever I pop it up, it's giving that gap in between so that the heat could travel not only on top, but underneath the hoodie or inside the hoodie to dry the plastic ink from the, from the bottom side too. So... Because this stuff right here, if you don't dry it right, it will smear. It's the last thing you want for it to smear on somebody that's wearing it. And I say that because it happened to me. Uh, when I first did this, the first time I had screen printed something, I was using this right here. 
I was using this before I had the flash, before I had the flash fryer, and I was like, "Oh yeah, it's good, right?" And then put it on with the seatbelt, and it was like whoosh, scraped. So make sure you uh, if you don't have a flash dryer or something to. Something to cure the inks. If you have a heat press, that's the next best thing. So um, even though these feel, even though when these are done, they feel good, they feel um, they feel dry. I still hit them with the flat with the um, with the heat press just in case. The last thing I want to do is. Give away a hoodie that or a shirt that smears. I can show you guys the the film video. No. <clears throat> so I went and bought my own um what is it printer because when I first got this setup I wanted to like print my own logo and I wasn't able to and I went to like three different stores like Staples, FedEx to see if they could print this for me. They would be able to print something like this. If they would be able to print something like this. So this was the film that I used for the red. Uh, this was the silver. No, this is the gold. So this. So when you put them together, you put these registration marks together. That's how it would sit with the registration marks together. And then this one, this one is the silver. Same thing, same registration marks. I made my own template. I just made the lines. And this is the white, the white underbase, which was this one that I didn't like. I mean, it did come out good. Don't get me wrong. But the thing I didn't like about it is, and they scored again. Um, the thing that I didn't like about it is, this thing doesn't have no micro registration, so it's hard to. <laughs> With that, it's hard to get stuff lined up. Like stuff like this isn't hard. That's not hard. I'm um, just doing it like this was easy because I'm not overlapping any colors. Everything is just the red, the gold, and the silver. So everything on here was like legit. Just put it into place, make sure it's not touching, and it's good to go. You know what I mean? But um, with the white underbase, if you if you just got here, I showed it earlier. Let's see if I can find which one it was. So here's the white underbase on this. So it's supposed to be the the red was supposed to, well all of it has the white underbase right but the white didn't want it it wasn't matching up with this silver right here this chrome or whatever it is 
So if you see, if you can see like a turn it, so it's mm -hmm. not so. Sarah Stevens, I got my cameo for today. Um, this right here, the white is supposed to be underneath the silver. So if you see the silver, it's like a little bit higher. So it wasn't working out. So I just went away with it. But it was supposed to be like that. The rest of these came out nice. But is what it is. You you are gonna if you if you do the, if you do decide to screen print, you will mess up. So whenever I order, whenever I order my orders, mm -hmm. I always order extra. Mm -hmm. I always order extra. Frankie, if you're in here, I'll I'll answer your question in a minute. You just wrote me on Instagram, but I'm not gonna write you right now. So being that I'm pressing like a lot right here, like all of this, there's none of this sticky. It's, it's like not sticky no more because of the the lint from inside the shirt or especially inside these sweaters right here. The lint that's inside of here gets on this. So if you look at this, it's not sticky. I do have the film on there, but being that it's not sticky, I always keep some glue here with me. Spray some glue on there so I can get it to stick. The reason you want it to stick is so that let me show you. So the reason that you want it to stick is so whenever you put this on, you put your shirt or you put your shirt or you put your sweater or whatever you're printing. What you don't want to do is print it. You want to make sure that it doesn't move. Because remember this stuff, these right here, these screens are registered to print in a certain place on top of each other you're doing them in layers right so if, if i were to come through here and print this and then pick it up and then move this there's no way like no way you're going to line that up if you if i were to print that print this gold shield right here so if i print this gold shield i'm not going to do a demonstration either so <laughs> So if I, if I printed this right here, and then I pick this up, and then try to line it back up, it's not going to happen, right? And it's, the reason I say it's not going to happen is because this, once you get it down, don't move it. Don't ever move it. Just leave it where it's at, right? And we, this right here, I bought this on eBay. It's an eBay one. It's not a high-speed one or a really good one, but it gets the job done. Just like this press, it's not a really good one. Like I said, like 500 bucks, but it gets the job done. I've made more than 500 bucks off of this press, so it's paid for this and this. So to me, it's worth it. To me, it's been worth it. So if you guys just got here, I saw a couple of you guys uh, just got here. If you got any questions, feel free to ask at any time. Um, we are printing on Bella Canvas. Um, hoodies and some next level t-shirts and I ordered all my stuff <clears throat> so I, I usually order t-shirts from not usually well yeah I, I guess you could say usually um, if I have an order that I'm not going to order over $200 worth I'll order from Jiffy 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 shirts, Jiffy something. So I'll order from them because after like 50 bucks, they do free shipping. But the thing with Jiffy is that they, Jiffy is a reseller of the shirts. So if you look at the, if you look at your, when the boxes come in, right? When you look at what comes in, it might be addressed, shipped from, somewhere else, you know what I mean? Because they outsource, which is smart, you know what I mean? So 
you look at the shirts, they probably make like two dollars, like maybe a dollar fifty cents to a dollar off each shirt, which adds up if you're making a big order. Um, but if you can get a resale or if you can get a EIN or a tax number, that's the best way to go because um, that's what I have. Even with Jiffy, you could do it where you don't pay taxes. Um, so you won't pay taxes, but you can also get from the actual people that they get from. So I get from SNS Activewear, and I pay like a dollar less for each hoodie. So the same order that I made here for all these hoodies and all these shirts that I don't know if you guys saw the Instagram post that I did the other day um, of all the stuff that I had ordered um, was a big was a big price, right? So I put that price, that same order into Jiffy that I ordered over here and it was like $90 more with Jiffy because Jiffy outsources and since they outsourced, they added a dollar to everything or 50 cents, whatever it is. They upped the price so that they can make money off of it, but which is smart, you know what I mean? That's like if, if I told you I sold these hoodies and shirts and you wanted to buy them from me and I just charge you a dollar more, you know what I mean? And then you order 50 of them, I make 50 bucks off of just outsourcing it from them. You understand what I'm saying? Another thing that you want to do is whenever you're, because this this image or whatever you're printing on here is is warm or it's hot, what you don't want to do is you don't want to grab it and you don't want to like pull it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to stretch that image. And being that this is a circle, once you stretch that circle to like an oval, it's not going to go back. So just be careful whenever you're pulling the stuff off too. So this one, we ran out of hangers. Should have bought some today, we were out. Make sure your area is clean, especially with um, plastic saw inks. Make sure your area is clean because um, being like the way this, the way I'm doing this over here, the way I'm doing that. So if there was ink right there, it would get on the sweater, especially on the other side of the box where I do have inks. Um, I got to be careful that I don't get the inks on the sweater because then it's going to mess it up. Last thing I want to do is, which one did I do? So, yeah, here, here's what I was telling you guys. Bella Canvas Fleece Collection. And then with Jiffy, the more you order, they tell you the cheaper they are, but it's because you're ordering bulk, but actually it's not because they're just outsourcing them. But Jiffy's not a bad place um, to order from, don't get me wrong. I still order from them because, so with Jiffy you get free, like I was saying, with Jiffy, with Jiffy you get free shipping after, I wanna say 50 bucks, right? So um, if you go to s and and you order $50 a shirt, you're not going to get free shipping. Um, with SNS Activewear, you have to have um, a minimum of $200 or more to get free shipping. So, like for this order, it made sense for me to order from them because I spent way more than um, the $200 that I needed instead of going through Jiffy. But usually, usually what I do is I'll plug the numbers into Jiffy, plug the numbers into Activewear, and I'll look at Okay, I'm getting free shipping over here with Jiffy. I'm not getting free shipping with SNS, but it's still coming out cheaper with SNS paying shipping because they're not they're not upselling the t-shirts. And then it's good for me because they have a warehouse next to Atlanta. So I get them like the next day. So that's cool. But even with Jiffy, it's only like a two-day turnaround for me. 
I guess it all depends on where you're at. So 11 o'clock here, what time you guys got? Where you're at? 11 o'clock here, Eastern time. I think that's where I'm at now. I do where I'm at, we're always moving. East Coast? Yeah, East Coast. And then I still gotta, I still gotta print um, they ordered, someone ordered one of these, but in red. So, inside here, I still have the screen. So this is, like I said, this right here is the silver. So I still got this screen that I got to use. And then, you got this one with red paint on it still. So the good thing about Plastisol inks is you can leave the ink on here and it's not going to dry up. And then if you need to clean out this stencil, you just take some some um, ink remover or some, some other some degreaser and you can get the ink out of it. Um, I usually do that before I print the next day. Like um, when I get that red hoodie, I got to reline these up to print them again. But that's the good thing about the uh, plastic saw inks. Is that the, the plastic saw inks do not... Um, dry up in the screen. Uh, Water-based ink, you gotta constantly, constantly move it. You gotta constantly use it. So if you look, if you can see this, let me show you what I'm talking about. So the way I do this here is I will print this, right? I'm gonna print this. And what I'm doing is I'm, um, Whenever I bring the ink over it, I'm not putting pressure because there's a gap in between here. So if we look right here, I have a I have two pennies right here. So what that does is this piece of this right here sits on top of those pennies, right? And when it sits there, it leaves a gap in between here, like eighth of an inch. Because this press isn't one of the good presses, I can't adjust it, right? I mean, it does have it on there, but I got to use like tools. I, I just can't turn knobs with this one. I have to use the tools. So um, with this, I can I can clean it out, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that there's no ink left inside of this image right here. And you can see some ink inside of it. Um, I would just go over it again, press a little bit harder so that you can get it out. Okay, so with the plastic salt inks, you can leave it off, right? You don't have to worry about this image drying up. But if I was using water-based inks, I've never used water-based inks. I have water-based inks. But from what I understand is that you have to do that so that the screen doesn't dry up. So with the Plastisol ink, you don't have to do that. So I, I just do this, clean it out, push this out of the way. If you see this right here, it does not fall off. It's pretty cool. It just with the angle that it's at, it stays. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Rye Beats. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys know who Rye Beats is. Um, or Ryan, he usually uses a um, a clamp right here. He puts a clamp right here, which which is I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to Harbor Freight like the way he did. I think that's where he got him from Harbor Freight. Something like that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead up Harbor Freight and you buy this little clamp. You just put it here and then the clamp sticks out this way. And what you do is you just leave, lean it up against the clamp. And the good thing about it is you can put it anywhere. Um, with this being that I'm not using it, I got to put it back here. Because I don't want to lay it down because of this is going to get ink on it. And I don't want to get ink on my hands. Here's what we're working on. We're working on this chest piece on some Bella Canvas hoodies. I did the back of them yesterday. There's the back of them. 
That's the back. Smash that thumbs up for me one time. Hit that thumbs up for me one time. So I've already finished all these that I have on the rack right here. All these are complete. I'm running over wired, but all these, those are complete. But I do have, <coughs> I do have a box full of shirts that I gotta do also. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. So I got, I got some hoodies and some shirts in a box that I gotta do also. So this is what I was talking about. You don't want to like pull this. If you pull this and you you separate it from the pallet that is, because you know, like I told you guys, I'm putting some glue down here. Even if you're not using the glue, um, this pallet tape will stick to it. You don't want to pull this because you don't want to spread this image while it's warm. So um, just slowly lift it up so that it comes off. And so that it'll stay a perfect circle. You don't want to pull it, like I said, and make it look like an egg. So here's the next ones that I have to do. So these, I have these, because I ran out of, like I was saying, I ran out of um, hangers. But these right here, I have these. It's a, same thing. I put the invoice inside of here, like I do. But these have, the reason I have these rolled up is because um, these actually have a shirt. So there's the hoodie. And then inside the hoodie, this person ordered a hoodie and two shirts. So there's this shirt here, there's this shirt here, and the hoodie. So I'm keeping them all together so I don't mix them up. That's just the way I do it. Or if you look at this way, the way I did it right here, is this person right here. So if we look at these right here. All these, these, these hoodies that I have right here, the invoices, like I said, are in the pockets, right? These right here... This is just the way I do it. I'm not telling you to do it this way, but um, what I do is I print the invoices off. I match the shirt up with the invoice and I put it there, right? So this one, he only ordered one. He only ordered one. And for this person right here, he ordered two shirts. So what I do with this is I will put it on one and then I'll overlap it so that I know this one goes with two, this one goes with one. And then this one I don't have the invoice for, but I have it inside. But like I said, we're going to be doing these now. I got a box of them right here. Probably like four or five of them with different stuff. So we're going to be doing... I don't want to drop this. <coughs> so here's the hoodie right here. And then we have two shirts. So we're going to do that next. So, And then once I get it done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it up the way it just was. So that I can put them back together. And then, like, if you just got here, I don't know if you just got here, if you've been here, I'm repeating myself. If I'm repeating myself, I'm just repeating myself for the, those of you that have just got here. But um, what, I, what I do is I use the flash dryer, which is over there, doing that one right now. Um, and But even, even though I'm using that, I'm still going to, since I don't have a conveyor belt, I want to make sure that these things are fully cured. So what I do is I'm going to take them inside and then tomorrow, not tonight, because I gotta work tomorrow. I gotta get up early. I'm going to put them under the heat press. And what the heat press does is it's gonna cure them. It's gonna cure them good. And another thing that it does is whenever you put that Teflon sheet on over it, whenever you put that Teflon sheet over this right here, it's gonna like smooth it out, I guess you could say. So like a lot of the new screen print, well, let me say not screen print, but a lot of the new screen, I guess we could say screen print, a lot of the new machines are coming with, um, like a, not coming with it, 
you can add it. It comes with like a one of these, which is it's like a roller. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what it does is say you have an eight an eight thing, an eight man or an eight station, right? You have eight station press. What this thing is gonna do is it's gonna print this one here, and then it's gonna go around and it's gonna to get to this one where it's just gonna be emulsion like this, right? And then it has this hand that is heated that rolls over it. And what it does is smooshes all of it, or sma not smashes it, but like flattens it out. And it feels really good when it's done. That's basically what I'm doing, just without the really expensive robot that does it. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I put them under there too because I want to make sure that these things are good to go. Nobody's going to have problems with them. If you guys have any questions, you can ask at any time. If I, if I see it, I'll answer it. Let's see. I'm not seeing any of these right here. I wasn't seeing anybody's stuff. What's up, Gina? I didn't see any of these right here. Levi, what's up? H and A, uh, color, color hanger. Now that should be organized. The order, yeah. Stewart, so what's the difference between Plastol ink and water-based ink? What should I be using for my shirts? All right. So I didn't see any of these comments at all. I don't know what was up with it. Um. Yeah. So those, Mr. Roaster said those full auto screen presses are very expensive. Um, yeah. What's up, H-Town Hustle? What's going on? Um, yeah. So I wasn't seeing any of these comments. I didn't know anybody was even talking. I was just blabbing. Um, but, yes, those fully automatic heat presses are very expensive. I think the ones that I saw at the ISS show, they started at like 30000 bucks, 30000 or 50000 something like that. And that was just the the press without the without anything. It didn't come with that little flattening thing. It didn't come with um it didn't come with the flattening thing. It didn't come with anything. It was basically uh, an automatic press for four or six stations, something like that. And then everything else you had to do yourself. And then if you wanted to add on the other stuff, that's when it got um, expensive on what you wanted to add. There we go. I think the live chat was off. So if I didn't answer y'all's questions, my bad. I think the live chat was off, so I wasn't seeing anybody's anybody chatting for a while. The last one I saw was who knows. Gina, what's up, Gina? I gotta order some black ink and some blue ink for my for my sawgrass. I ran out. saying what should you start off with I i'm not going to tell you like if you should start off with plastic ink or water-based ink who was it that said that um see if i can go back Stewart says what's the difference between between the plastic ink and the water-based ink what should i be using for my shirts um so I've never used the water-based inks. I have water-based inks. I just never used them. So with so from what I'm so from what I know is the plastic ink. You can feel it. It sits. The plastic ink basically sits on top of the shirt. Um, the plastic ink sits on top of the shirts, and the um, water-based ink soaks into the shirt, so you don't feel it. I do have a shirt from Liberty Graphics and Rye Beats that did. No, I, I think just Liberty Graphics did um, water-based inks. And you can't even feel it. It just feels like a t-shirt. Um, with this right here, you're able to feel it. So that, I think that's the difference between the two. I've never, like I said, I've never used water-based inks. So I'm not going to tell you which one to use. 
Yeah, no problem, man. Where did you get the screen press? Um, this one I got from, I did get it on eBay, but you can order it from Nevertheless. Yeah, Nevertheless, this is what, <coughs> so I don't know if you can see this. This is what it came with. So whenever I got this thing, it's, I'm going to tell you right now, this, it's, it's okay for a beginner, but it's crap, right? So if you order it, don't say, oh, I bought it because Heart and Hustle was using it or Joe was using it. So I bought it, so it has to be good. Um, water base is easier to clean up. Yeah. I saw it before you deleted it. But yeah, uh, water base is easier to clean up. But nevertheless, this is where I got it from. Um, this thing comes with the crappy instructions. Watch the video. I made a video on it whenever I did it. Where did you get the flash? I got it on eBay also. Cheap stuff. Um, so I did get cheap stuff, right? It's the cheap stuff. Let's see. Yeah, that's what's up. If you can get it off of, um, he said Craigslist. Yeah, that's what's up. I always look at Craigslist too to see what's up, see what people have. Um, but, or what people are selling. But yeah, water base. So from what I heard, water based inks, you could just use water based ink. I mean water to wipe to clean them off. Um with with the with emulsion, you gotta buy this. Let me show you. I mean with uh with with plastic inks, you're gonna need something like this. If you don't have ink remover, you're gonna have a heck of a time cleaning up. You're gonna have a really fun time cleaning up. If you guys just got here too, um, PMI. If you guys don't know, uh, with PMI you can get you can order samples. You can order sample tape. That's this is what I'm using right here. It's not. I didn't get the samples. Oh, I did get the sample pack, but I got. I paid for it when I was at the uh, Printing United show. I ran into PMI when I was there, and the dude was cool. And I bought like, I bought two packs, two packs of the samples. And then he was like, hey, when you get home, go to the website, order another one. So this is the palette tape that I'm using. The palette tape, this is it from PMI also. That's what I'm using. And then here is the, um, so if you go to PMI.com, PMI, you go to this website and you there's a little there's a like a tab on there you could put free samples and this is what you'll get so you'll get all three of these right here for free and if you order these separate on their website they're ten dollars each that's 30 bucks so when they were at um, printing united they were selling these for 10 bucks so i bought two of them and then gina gina if you're still here i bought some now Thanks to you. I didn't know what these were until you told me or until you sent me some. So see, I was uh, screen printing and I was using shirts to do prints on. So these are Pellon sheets. I think that's what they're called. So if you guys don't know what that is, basically what it is is you can do your test print. You can do your print before you actually print. So you could do something like, let me print this one real quick. So I haven't been screen printing long if you're here. All right, let me show you. So this right here, this is what you could do. So I, I was able to print this before I was able, before I had to print. So if you look at the red on here, how bright it is, because you can see the white underbase that is on there, has the white underbase. So with the white underbase, it was lining up perfect. Like you could barely see it sticking out, right? It was good to go. I was like, man, that looks nice. Like it's really... A bright red like it's supposed to because when you print red on black it's darker but when you print red on white it looks good 
Um, but it wasn't coming out. After I printed this, I was like, legit, let's go. And then I started printing the first shirt and it was off. So I was like, all right, something happened. So I just went away with it. All right, so here's the hoodie that we just did. This is the hoodie. This is the hoodie right here that I'm going with that. Let's see what Felix said. Felix said, I have something better than that. That that video is coming next month. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Um, I'm shooting a video for doing this right here. So you guys will be part of it whenever it comes out in a couple days. Screen printing is like sublimation ink. Don't do well without the button flash dryer. Oh, the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. When I was over there too, when we were at the ISS show, they had some like this that had it would move over. It would go to the next one, and it had a um, a, a, a heater that went like back and forth. And I was like, man, that's cool. Like, I want to get there. You know what I mean? You just got to keep doing it. So like I said, if y'all you follow me on Instagram, the other day I posted, like, whenever I opened up the the squeegees and the, the I ordered six more screens. I ordered some squeegees. I ordered some inks. Um, I was like, you have to invest in yourself. You know what I mean? What I mean by that is you invest in yourself. Um, you can make five, six hundred bucks off of a, off of a job and then go out and blow that money and have nothing to show for it. You know what I mean? So what I usually do is whatever I, whatever I, whatever I make off of an order, I usually put it back into my, to what I'm doing. Invest in yourself. Yeah, Gina, I saw you had said something about those Pelon sheets, so I appreciate appreciate that. But that's what they're called. Pelon? I think that's what they're called. I want to order some um, Plastisol transfers and the powder. I want to give that a try. See how that goes. You know what I mean? We'll see how it goes. And if it comes out good, then maybe... I don't want to take on too much stuff, but uh, we'll see. You know what I mean? I can do some... Classic salt transfers, maybe we'll come out good. We'll see. And the dude said at PMI was like, you could take some water. With the water, you can take some water and wipe this off. He said, and then you wait a little bit and it gets sticky again. I don't know if that's true. Anybody ever tried that? I don't know how true that is or not, but. Yes, me. If I take this off, it doesn't feel sticky. But that's just me. Let me see. Yeah, it will. So Felix says it will. I'll probably give it a try in a minute. But yeah, the dude at PMI, he, he had did it, and then he took some water and he cleaned it off, and then he did it again. And he's like, look, check it out. And he was like, it was sticky again. But I'm just, so... This thing, this thing wasn't, like, it already has too much lint on there from, from doing the other stuff. So all I'm doing is just, I always keep a little bit of glue. Because I used to use glue on this before I got the palatate. And uh, now I use the palatate. The cleanup is a whole lot easier. I used to use, so like I said, I used to use the, um, the glue. And then I would use this to clean up. It took forever, but it did. I cleaned it up. Let me see some questions. Gina, the tape. All right. <coughs> you gonna send me some or what, Jonathan? I want to give it a try. I mean, I know it's not gonna come. I might, I might be. I might. I gotta get in touch with you too. I need some full color transfers, man. 
We're gonna see. We're gonna see what you got. All right. I got. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them to this dude that's gonna digitize it for me. Um, they drew it up. It's not this next job, but it's the third. I got three jobs, so I got this one, another one, and then another one. And with that, that third one, they drew up a picture, and then I'm gonna get it digitized so that um. Well, I'm gonna turn. It, I'm gonna get someone to make it into a vector for me. I'm gonna turn it into a vector, and then I'll probably send it to you so you can give me some prices, so I can get that done. But yeah, I'm gonna need some full color ones. I don't know how many I'm gonna need yet, but Joe Sanchez, what's up? Hector, Hector says, "Awesome work, bro. Appreciate it, man." Frankie, are you still here? Frankie. Frankie, um, how much for some tumblers? Man, Frankie, um, you're going to have to hit me up after this. I don't, I, I got to know exactly what you're, I know you said some two color prints and now you're saying two color, um, what did you just say two color, two color <coughs> tumblers? Is that what you said? So it's gonna it's gonna be tough because I got these three jobs to do, and then not this weekend but next weekend I'm flying to Oklahoma, and then I will come back Monday, and then Friday we're going home for Christmas so we're driving down to Texas so um, it's like crunch time right now you know what I mean, and I'm trying to do like. This is going to be the first time that my whole family has been together since me and my brother joined the military. So I'm trying to do some shirts for us too. So it's tough, man. I'm trying to get it. How about them cowboys? Watch this comeback. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Killing me. Killing me. Questions, comments. What we got? Corpus. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to Corpus. We're going to a little bit south of Corpus. We're going to Kingsville. We're going home. Sweet. Yeah. I'm. Gonna, I'll, after we get off here, I'm gonna send you the image that they sent me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it vectorized first. Um, and once I get it vectorized, I'll send it to you. Damn cowboys. Yeah, man. Killing us. The game? Um, yeah. Just about game, huh? For a long time, the chat was turned off, and I didn't know that. And I thought I was talking to myself the whole time. I was like, man, everybody's quiet tonight. Little did I know my chat was turned off. All right, so here's here's the hoodie. I got one of these shirts done. Here's one of them right here. And then I just finished this one. And this one goes with that hoodie also. So they ordered a hoodie and two shirts. Usually I would go to Jonathan for these, but Jonathan... From Top Transfers is really cool, dude. If you guys need any plastic saw transfers, you guys could use my code. Is it still good? I don't think he likes me anymore. I don't think he likes me anymore. Uh, let me know if it's still good, Jonathan. Man, I need to figure this out. Let me grab this chair over here. I like I need to like organize, but it's hard to organize in a garage. So Jonathan, did I, did I show you this earlier? I ordered this. Two minutes left. Yeah, I'm watching it. It's right there. You see it? Right there. I've got a tablet on. Um, I ordered this. It's supposed to be like really cool. This new squeegee that you put in your hands and you're like yeah. But I don't think that's supposed to happen, right? This thing's not supposed to fall out, right? 
So that's with no ink on it. When I, as soon as I touch the ink, it like just falls right out. Um, I got in touch with the people that I bought it from. They're gonna send me another one. I was really excited to use this too, you know what I mean? But, it is what it is. All right, so let's do this next one. Up with this chat, keeps turning off. You said you got some samples returned. What do you mean you got some samples returned? Like, yeah, so, so with this one, um, I'm not gonna throw it away because I paid like 30 bucks for it, you know what I mean? So um, I got in touch. I got in touch with um, Total Ink Solution. That's where I bought it from. Um, they were really cool. They said they're gonna send me another one, and that to do whatever I want with this one. So um, once they send me the other one, hopefully it works better, and then we'll do an update, see if it works. But but for this one, this thing just it doesn't even stay in there. Yeah. So I was doing the. I was doing. I was gonna use this for the white underbase, and whenever I. Like, put it in the ink, and I pulled it, it just stayed there. And I was like, what the heck? He said something about Ryanette. Ryanette has good, decent price stuff. Yeah, I should have got some from him. <clears throat> good night, everyone. Early morning tomorrow. Yeah, sketch designs me too. I got to get up early too, but I got to finish this because I got to start on the other job tomorrow. Because like I said, I got to get them done by Wednesday. So... At least Wednesday night, but I should be good. Everything should be done by uh, these, and I'll do the next ones. I'll be, I'll be good. I would appreciate it because I just put some cash out to get into sublimation. That's what's up. Sublimation is good. You, you got so you don't really need the client. So. You don't really need the clients. You just got to be able to, I guess, push your, whatever you're doing, just push it. You know what I mean? Because shirts, unless you're doing like sports teams or something, you're really not going to sell a lot of shirts. Because nobody really wants 100% polyester shirts. You know what I mean? Unless they really like to wear polyester, then they will. But um, I've never, I've only, sold one shirt and I used it with that forever subflex vinyl and that stuff was garbage too. Nice. I appreciate you stopping by for watching someone like me that's working out of their garage. So thanks for stopping by. I just do it out of my garage and then like upstairs in the in the loft area. I took over the loft area that we have. So I do um my vinyl stuff. Everything that I do vinyl I do it there. I got the Sawgrass 800. I just ran out of ink. So I was having some printhead problems. I got in touch with Sawgrass. And so we're gonna see what happens. So that's why I haven't posted any videos with the sublimation because I was having a problem with my Sawgrass. Pretty upset about that because it's supposed to do its own cleaning, right? And somehow it got clogged. Yeah, Gina, I got you. I didn't like it though. I didn't like how it felt, so I didn't. I never used it. I still have some of that Forever Subflex vinyl. I just didn't like the way it felt. These are complete. Now I gotta find a place to put these. I'll put them right here. All right, what's up? Got questions? What's up?
Yeah, I'm trying to, I hate poly, yeah, so that, unless you're using that forever subflex vinyl, you're only going to be able to do sublimation on, um, you're only going to be able to do sublimation on polyester strips, and I'm pretty sure you, you, you got a print shop, so I'm pretty sure you know that. Jonathan, did you answer my question? Are you still here? Top transfer, Jonathan. Um, is my code for supplement supplementation for plus salt transfer still good? Is what I was asking. I want to do those full colors so that I can promote you. So I can promote you for those full color transfers if you're if you're still here. If not, I'll just um the powder. Oh yeah, the powder to sublimation. I got you. I see what you're saying now. Yeah. You could try that forever subflex vinyl too. That stuff. You know, I didn't like it because it felt thick. It felt like really thick plastic. And it's weird because you 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 print it and then the print goes down. What's up, Mikey? What's going on? Look at me. Look at me in my little shop right here. What's up? Not my shop, it's my garage actually. What's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, so that's, uh, Shelly said, make sure you have good, I do it all myself. Me and my wife and my daughters, they try to help me, but uh, the majority of the time, it's just me by myself. You know what I mean? Uh, this, this job, um, I do all the, all the invoicing. I do all, everything by myself, just so that I don't, because I know what they want. I know what they want. So I just do it all. I do all the invoicing. I send all the emails. Um. I'm the one sending all the reminders. Hey, check it out. If you don't pay by this day, you ain't gonna get your order. You know what I mean? So, and then once I get that, I get all the money. I order all the shirts. Once I get all the shirts and I order everything, I'm the one that prints all the films out. I do stuff like this, print them all out. And then once I print these out, I will um, burn my screens. And then when I burn my screens, I gotta hope and pray that that doesn't happen. And then, being that I'm using that little halogen light, I gotta hope that that doesn't happen. If this happens, it is what it is. Um, I just learned um, with that halogen light that I'm using just to up my time a little bit. Yeah, I just have the little cheap, nevertheless, screen printing thing right here. And then over here, I have this little thing that I bought on eBay also. So, um, you know, it's not the best. So, it is, it is what it is, right? I'm almost done with tonight's order. So, that shirt... And a hoodie. I don't want to mix those up. So we got the hoodie. So if you guys just got here, I know some of you guys are dipping out because it's already late. If you're on the East Coast, it is 11.30. I got to get a birdie, but it's all good. We're using Bella Canvas Fleece and Next Level Tees. So that's what we're using for this order. Uh, and then whenever I bought this too, it came with this, which really didn't do anything. I use it for tumblers. That's what it, that's what it turned into. The use for tumblers.
So these, I haven't used these before. These, I just ordered these and I got these in. But these are going to be really cool when it comes to cleaning. Because all I got to do is loosen that screw right there. Loosen those two screws. That piece will come out. And I'll be able to clean it right. And it won't look like... It won't look like that, right? It won't look like this. Good night, Matt. Are you leaving, Matt? Joe, those hoodies are better looking. They're not really... I mean, they are. I wouldn't say expensive. It all depends on where you order them, Gina. Um, that's why I was mad when I messed them up. Because I was like... Man, I messed up. I think they were like 12 bucks. From SNS. I ordered them from SNS. I think they were like 12 13 dollars maybe I think and then they were on sale um for a dollar cheaper way to go cowboys way to go Bella everything is expensive use my code JR cop use my code you get 10% off whatever you order if you use my code um after this video is over, or just go to any of my videos. You don't have to go to this specific one. But if you go, if you look at my page, you go to any of my videos, there's going to be, it's going to say, do you need Plastol transfers? Um, use this code and you'll get 10% off. So what the code does, if you copy the code, if you copy that code, if you copy that code and you put it into your Internet Explorer and you click it, what it's going to do is it is going to take you to the website and you're going to be like, well, where's the code? There's no code. You're under the website under my code. So whenever you go to checkout, you should get 10% off. If you don't get your 10% off, then you got to call Jonathan over there at Top Transfers and be like, hey, man, I used Joe's code and I didn't get my 10% off. And then he'll fix it for you. So just do that. What's the code? Um, it's not in this video because I haven't put anything in the description. But like I said, um, J, JR, just go to any of my other videos. Um, don't click the video. Well, click the video, go to the description. Once you go to the description down at the bottom, you will be able to uh, copy the code there. All right, Gina, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. There it is. So you can either use the link or whenever you check out, put HHP10. It'll give you 10% off. So this one. Let me move this one. All right, so I'm down to my last two hoodies. Let me no, yeah, one more, right? Yeah. So whenever I whenever I do that last hoodie right there, I didn't shoot I didn't shoot any video um, doing the chest piece. So whenever I do whenever I do whenever I do that last hoodie, I'm gonna be shooting the video. So we will finish these right here. We got two more, and then we're gonna call it a night. We got three more, and then I'm going to call it a night. Jesus on you. Because I got to get up early, go to work, and then come back and then start on the next order. Well, I, guess I still got to, like I said, I still have to. Um, I still have to put these under the heat press because I want to make sure the ink is fully cured.
Yeah, so the Bella Canvas, Bella Canvas um, hoodies can get expensive if you start to mess up a lot of them. Luckily, I only messed up one, um, and it wasn't really my fault. I don't know how it, it double printed somehow. I think I, um, one of these, let me show you if you can see this. Crow houses are everywhere. So this one right here, if you can see this, doesn't, it's like stuck or something. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think this thing right here is stripped. So this one don't, it moves, but then it stops right there. Then it moves and it stops right there. Like this one, I could freely, I could turn it all the way, turn it all the way, but this one, like look, it doesn't even move. Like you gotta like muscle it to get it to move. So whenever it comes down to tightening this one, it moves, so I think that's what happened whenever I did that other one. So now I have to be careful when I press, whenever I'm, uh, I'm doing more, I'm doing four colors. Because I don't want it to, to mess up. So the next one that I'm doing has brown, white, black, and gray. But we're doing them on, I'm doing them on gray shirts. So I'm going to. I'm not really gonna have to. I'm not really gonna have to press the gray color because we're using the gray hoodies. So I mean the gray shirts and the gray hoodies. So we should be good. So we should be good. He said what? It went in crooked. If you get the same size tap, you can rethread it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something because, um, especially like being that I'm I'm doing it with that. Like when it comes to moving one, especially like I think that's what happened. The white underbase was on that one, so whenever I moved it, it like turned it, so it messed up the whole messed up the whole image whenever I was doing it. So. I'm going to have to figure that out. If not, I'm not going to be able to... I want to upgrade eventually. This was just something to see if I was going to like it. Because I was doing... Um, I was doing some... Not super huge orders, but some big orders. And I already gave my transfers from Jonathan over at Top Transfers. So... Um, I would get them from him. And now that I'm doing this, I wanted to give it a try. Jonathan's been cool. He's been supportive. Um, if I ever had a question, he would answer it for me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shoot this last part of this video right here. I'll turn this on. My batteries and I did. Let me go grab a battery real quick. Let me shoot this last part. What's up, Juan? How you doing? It says, I just did a chess piece with my vinyl and found 
it was fun to struggle and find the perfect. So what I use whenever I do vinyl, logo it, logo it little square. That's what I usually use. All right, so that's what I use whenever I'm doing that. All right, so what we're doing right here is we are doing these chest pieces right here for these hoodies and the um, the t-shirts because we did the back yesterday. Now we're doing the front. Um, the reason I didn't show the process on this, I did show you how I set it up, but what I didn't do is I didn't go through the process of doing all of them. I got two, I got one hoodie and one sweater. I mean, one sweater and one t-shirt left, but we've been live on YouTube for the last two hours. So that's why I didn't do it, but we're here now. We're going to, we're going to shoot this last one. Someone throw a comment on there so we can see it whenever we, um, let this video come out. Next one. There we go. JCR. JR. JR Cop. All right. So we're going to go ahead. Appreciate you guys for stopping by tonight. I'm going to print these last two. And after I print these last two, we're going to end this live. Sounds good. If you have any questions. All right. So here we go. All right. So what I did here. Let me pick you up a little bit. All right, so then we're doing the we're doing the front chest piece on these t-shirts and then we're doing them on the hoodies these are the last two that i have left then this order will be complete so all i did was you guys saw when i when i lined these up whenever i put them underneath the the exposure thing what i didn't show you is when i washed them out because um, i do it all in my garage i do everything in here right so i didn't show you that uh, all in my garage i do everything in here right so i didn't show you that uh, we're using the the gold and the silver we're just doing we're probably going to do I've, I've been doing two passes on it so i'll do the first one and then i'll do another one and then i'm going to hit it with the flash dryer hit it with this flash dryer hit it for a little bit once we do that first coat we're going to come back with the silver hit it with the silver one time and it should be good So there's that one, and then we're going to come with the silver. So a little bit of ink. This, this gray is really thick, but it's good because it still prints. So I don't know if there's something that you could use to thin it out, but I think the way it prints is good. All right? All right, McRooster, take it, check, check you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, peace out. Have I have work to do? I'm gonna do some designs on Einstein. All right. Yeah, thank you guys for stopping by tonight. If you guys are getting ready to take off, that's what's up. Thank you guys for stopping by. After I print these two, we're gonna do like the little outro thing that I usually do, and then we're gonna get out of here. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, watching the Cowboys lose, and chatting about screen printing or whatever you had questions for if you had questions all right so if you heard that that was me talking to the people that are here because uh, we're live on youtube and then we're printing these shirts all If you're here and you're getting ready to leave, hit that thumbs up for me one time. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys for your guys' support. Like, for real, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. What are we at? Like 9,700, something like that. Maybe we'll do like a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Five yards of vinyl or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out.
All right, so here we are. We're on our last last one. We're on our hoodie. That shirt that I just did goes with this hoodie. Whenever I um, do my, to keep track of what I'm doing, what I usually do is put the invoice inside the hoodie. This hoodie right here was calling for um, one hoodie and one so this one's a this one's actually two hoodies, but this one wants the red hoodie, which is what we're waiting for to come in. So when that one comes in, I'm gonna have to register the silver and the red again, but it's all good. They already paid for it, so I'm gonna do it. Right, so this is our last one. If you guys need Plastol transfers, make sure you look up um, Top Transfers. Give Jonathan a call. Um, use the discount code HHP10 um, so you can get 10% off of whatever you order. He was here tonight, so I want to throw him out there. If any of you guys have a YouTube or Facebook channel you want to throw out there, go ahead and throw it out there right now. Let me see. All right, Shelly, good night. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the tips, brother. I'm from I'm a newbie to all this, but your videos helped me a bunch, man. Hey Juan, thank you for the support. Oh, this screen printing, I have to a lot of questions for you for you about that machine. January. All right, Kathy, whenever you're ready, send them our way. I'll be here. 2020. We're ready. We got plans for 2020 also. Not putting anything out there, but we got plans. Um Hopefully, you guys keep supporting the channel. That's what I appreciate you guys so much. But yeah, anytime you guys got questions, um, not in this video yet, but the description, I'm going to be putting out best live ever. Appreciate it. Um, I, not in this video, but the other videos, we do have a business phone now. So if you guys have a question and you need, instead of emailing me, you want it answered, not right away, but as soon as I have time, you can text it or you can give us a call whenever you have time. If you have any questions about any of the vinyl that we have on the website or any question about anything, just give us a call um, or text us, whatever you got to do. Keep up the good work. Yeah, you too, man. Keep up the good work. Um, Levi, you guys don't know, go to his YouTube channel also. He puts out some good stuff too. Does a flash dryer use a lot of power? No, not really, because it turns off and on. It gets to a certain temperature and it turns off. And then once it gets too low, it turns back on. So it's pretty good, right? All right. All right, so that's it. I just want to say thank you guys for um, tuning in tonight. Thank you guys for subscribing. We're at we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. It's crazy that just like two years ago, um, when I just started, we were like nowhere, right? Here we are now. I mean, we're still not nowhere. We don't have like a huge amount, but um, is it better to use a heat press and screen print? You can use it where you want. I use this in the garage because I don't want it inside because the the inks, you can get inks. If you get inks anywhere, you're going to get stuff dirty. So I, I do screen printing outside and everything else vinyl. Um, I do it inside. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And until next time, keep pressing.